Hello everyone, in this video we will learn about text tables in Tableau. By the end of this video, you will know how to create text tables. You will also understand how to apply formatting options to customize the appearance of your tables. So I hope you're excited and I'll see you there. Welcome back everyone. Let's build our first text table. To create a chart in Tableau or pretty much any visualization, there are various different ways. Uh, one option is that you can drag the field from the data pane into the shelves or the column shelves or, or the row shelf. For example, I can drag the category name into rows. Alternatively, I can just double click on any one particular field. For example, if I double click on sales, Tableau is automatically going to put it into one of the shelves and bring up some sort of visualization that makes sense. The third option you have is to go via the show me menu. If you're completely new to Tableau and this is your first time, I will suggest that you use this option. Basically, show me is kind of a quick guide on creating. It gives you kind of a quick guide to create different types of charts. So let's use this option. When you will click on the show me button, it will give you different types of charts that are available in Tableau that you can create. We want to create text table, so we will hover our mouse on top of the text table. Once I do that, Tableau kind of gives me what are the types of fields that are required in order to create a text table. It's asking me for one or more dimensions and one or more measures. So now what is a dimension and what is a measure? To keep it simple, at this stage, any field with a quantitative information is a measure and any field with a qualitative, descriptive or categorical information is a dimension. So for example, in this data set, sales, quantity, profit, discount, these all are numerical fields and that's why they will be treated as measures. Whereas other fields which are descriptive in nature, for example, customer name, segment, category, subcategory, etc. These are more descriptive type of fields and that's why they will be treated as dimensions. So in order to create a text table, it is asking for at least one or more dimensions and one or more measures. So what I'll do is I'll select just any one particular uh, dimension. So I've selected category and then I'll select one measure. I'm going with the sales for now. And now that with these two fields selected, I will go and click on the text table and it will give me our, our first text table. Now, if you have worked with Microsoft Excel and if you've worked with the pivot tables, you might be able to notice that in terms of functionality, this is very similar. Tableau is basically putting the categories in the rows, as we can see that it's in the rows shelf, and it's aggregating the sales numbers in front of it. Now, let's say I want to break down the category. I want the category column to be there, but I want to see the subcategories as well in front of it. All I need to do is drag subcategory and put it in front of category. What it will do is basically add the subcategory column in front of the category. Let's see, let's see how it does it. So I'll put it here and there we go. Now currently this table is showing us the sales or sum of sales by subcategory for all the four years because we have around about four years of data in this data set. Uh, so it's summing up all the numbers in here. If I want to show the sales for all the four years in a separate column, I can actually drag the order rate and put it into the columns. And there you go. Now, one thing to note over here is that if you go to your data source and actually inspect the order, uh, order date field, these are not arranged in years. These are basically individual dates. There is 3rd January 2019, 4 January 2019, up to so on. There are many dates. But when you put this particular field into a visualization, which we did over here, Tableau automatically summarizes it by year. Now, if you want, you can go one level deeper. And basically, if I click on the plus sign, it will break it down by quarter. If I dive further deep, uh, it will break it down by months. And then I can go all the way down up to the day. For now, to keep it simple, I'll just keep it at a year level so we can see the table uh, in a simpler way. So by now you have your first visual ready. Let's try to play around a bit with this. Let's start with the formatting piece. 
let's say I want to change the format or the color of the font in this table. A simple way to do it is right click on anywhere on these cells and then click on format. It will open a new pane on the, on the left from where you can access various different formatting options. Let's say that I want to change the color of the font of all the numbers and everything that is appearing here. I can go to worksheet level and change the format over there. So let's say I want to go with the orange color. It will change everything that I have on the table to orange. Of course, I want to go back to the default color. If you want to change only the font color of the numbers that are in the body of the table, you'll go to pane and select orange. That will change the colors here. I'll control Z it. It will go back to the black or the default one. If I want to change the color of only the headers, I'll go to header and then click on the color that I'm interested in and that's it. And if I want to go back, I'll again press command Z or control Z. Then you have the option to change the color of the tooltip. So what are tooltips? When you will hover your mouse on top of any of the number, you will see a tooltip that will show the summary of that particular number. For example, which category does it belong to? Uh, what's the subcategory, year, etc. Tooltips are very helpful feature in Tableau. For example, if you have very large tables and the data is extending all the way to the right, then it might be very difficult to understand any number uh, with the naked eye. So that's where tooltips are quite handy. So if you want to format the tooltips only, you can do that via the option available. You can also change fonts, by the way, or change the font style, bold, italic, underline. I'll just, just to demonstrate, I'll just be changing the colors for now. Once I make it orange and then I go to my tooltips, it's orange. I'll again go back to the default setting. Last, we have the title, which is this one. If I want to change the title, I'll make it bold and perhaps make it 20 and it will uh, change as per the settings you uh, specify. Next, we have the formatting options for totals, subtotals, and the grand totals. We do not have totals in this uh, particular table right now. In order to show totals, we'll need to go to the menu bar, click on analysis, and there we have the option to do totals. For example, I'll select show row grand totals, and then I can select show column grand totals. And now if I want to change the formatting of these totals, I can go to total and there you go, it changes. Now, as you can see, there are lots of formatting options available in Tableau. I can go through some more of them as well. However, it will be best if you practice a little bit on your own and just play around with these options that are available just to familiarize yourself on how you can change the look and feel of your charts. I'll just cover a couple of quick other examples as well. So for example, Let's say I just want to change the formatting of uh, these values over here. Right now, when we change the header, it changed everything. It changed the font of the values here as well as the headers in the column. Let's say I just want to change the formatting of the values appearing in the rows. I will go to the rows section and over there in the header, I'll select orange. You'll see that it has changed the font of only the values appearing here, but not the ones that are shown over here in the column labels. Similarly, if you go to columns and change the formatting there, it will change. Uh, it will only impact the formatting of the column labels and not the rows. Next, we have the alignment options over here. So for example, if you want to left align your text, you can select this option. It will left align it. This will center it and uh, this will right align it. Usually in most of the cases, the best option is to just keep it automatic. So Tableau will be able to detect what's the best formatting for a particular visual and try to keep it at that. Next, we have the options for shading. I'll go to that. And as you can see, uh, there are shadings uh, applied to all the rows. Uh, one of the rows is light shaded and the other and the next one uh, has slight gray shading. If you want our table to appear without any particular shading, I can go and remove the shading from the pane. That will remove the shading from the main body of the table. And then if I want to remove the shading from the header as well, I can select header and click done. Moving on, we have the borders option. As you can see in our table, there are lines appearing at the intersection of most of the columns and rows. 
And if we want to change the appearance of our table from that perspective, we can do it with the options available under the borders button. Let's say I want to get rid of all the lines appearing between the rows. I'll go to the row divider and for the pane, I'll click none. That will remove all the lines that were appearing in the rows. Similarly, if I want to remove the lines that are separating the columns, I can go to column divider and on the pane, I can click none. Now, as you can see, the lines are left only in the grand totals line and the grand totals column. You can remove those as well by tweaking the options around here. And the last option that we have is for the grid lines. This is not as much applicable to a text table because there are no grid lines here. Usually when we are making a line chart or a bar chart, uh, then in those types of charts, we have grid lines in there. And in case if we want to format those grid lines, we can use the option over here. So one more thing I wanted to cover was that uh, when you're doing formatting, you can actually go very detailed as well in Tableau. For example, when we were doing the font formatting, we actually changed the font of the header to orange. And that and what that did was it changed the header of it changed the font of all the items appearing in the header, be it uh, category, subcategory, order date, etc. Let's say if you want to change the font only for the category and not for the rest of the headers, then you can do that as well. I'll just control C or uh, undo what I just did. And then I can go and select a particular field that I want to format. So in this case, I just want to change the colors of these three items or let's say furniture, office supplies and technology. I can go to category and over there, I can select the font that I want. So it will only change the category. And if I don't want the to grand total to be formatted as orange, for example, I can just select black over here and there we go. So all in all, there are lots of formatting options available in Tableau. Honestly, sometimes it's actually overwhelming to see the amount of options available. I would encourage you to play around with the formatting options. That's the best way that will give you a good hold of various formatting features uh, that are available. With that, we will move to our next lecture where we will learn about the heat maps. So I'll see you there.